Hey, buongiorno, everybody. Buongiorno, buongiorno to all of my paisans and gombardis that are out there. I'm speaking Italian. You know what that means. It's Wednesday, and Wednesday is Italian Shave Day. And we're going to do some real Italian. We're going to do an Italian unboxing and all sorts of stuff. But first, I got to take care of a little bit of business. The other day, I think it was yesterday or the day before, we hit 50 subscribers on the channel. Thank you. Thank you, all of you, for tuning in and watching this old guy sit here and shave and talk. And I love all your comments. Everybody. Robert. Eric. Silky. Luxurious Shave. Sinatra. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all being there. Let's try to get to that 100 mark. I think this morning we were at 51. We hit 100. We're going to do a giveaway. Something very special. I guarantee it. Now, today we're doing Italian shape. We're going to be using Omega Crema de Barra with oil of eucalyptus. This is what it looks like in the bowl, in the container. It's got a light eucalyptus smell. It's not overpowering. It's got a little bit of citrus in it and a relatively clean scent. I enjoy it. We're going to deviate a little on the Italian theme. I'm going to use something that I've got here by Barrister and Man as a splash. It's called Electric Mayhem. I'm having trouble finding the matching soap for it. So if anybody's got a line on that, let me know. Put it in the comments. Let me know about it. It's got a sense of yuzu, plum, rosewood, which they use for guitar fretboards. You know. And it's, got, it's a very pleasant scent. I enjoy it. It's going to be fun. We're going to use, I'm going to load the razor up today with the Balzano Italian blade. Made in India. <laughs> and my friends over at Razor Rock, an Italian barber, sent me this box here. It is their, call it the switch. Well, most of you people down here in Texas and down in the south, when you hear something call the switch <laughs> you've done something wrong and you're going out to get you one and God forbid you come back with a small one so you southern people know what I'm talking about this is the switch very unusual design you may be saying why is that well first of all Comes apart up in here. It's a three piece design. Cap comes off like that. But the interesting thing about this is that this end piece here comes off. And you put your handle on it. See how it comes off there? Put that end cap back on. I'm going to put it on a little bit so it doesn't fall off. And you've switched from a standard safety razor to a shave end type. See? Very interesting. I may start this way. and see how it goes. This will be a first for me. I'll put some hot water in the sink. Pardon the noise. And you know this is happening. 
and I've got my Omega Barber Pole brush that we're going to use today, soaking in some hot water. I've taken care of the first two of the three S's. I'm going to load my blade. That's the inside of the cap. Straight line design. It's nice. That's the inside of the, the base. I promise this time I will put the base back on properly. Those of you that saw the Deacon is Human reveal of the uh, the blaze the other day know what I'm talking about if you haven't seen it check it out about three quarters of the way through it gets really funny so we'll load the old blade onto here Sides. There's the base. Yes, the base is correct this time. You can see it. I'm going to set it up as a shave head. We'll see how it goes. I may wind up. Stopping the video and changing back, but for education and testing purposes, development and testing purposes, as we say in the IT business. We're going to set it up as a shaver. I've already got some of the soap in my little palm bowl. I've taken care of the first two of the three S's. Let's get some water on the face and start to shave. Let's see what happens. So last night was bowling night. First shift was pretty good. Had a good night, over 500 series. Second shift, couldn't hit the broad side of a barn with a shotgun. Man, it was horrible. And Brenda was home. She wasn't feeling well last night, so it was just me and Miss Vicky. And she couldn't hit the broad side of a barn either. So... This Omega, <laughs> after just a couple of stirs. It just exploded in here. And it is going over the top, folks. Look, look at this. Will you look at that? Anybody tell me what movie that line is from? I'll tell you, give you a clue. Tim Allen's in it. All right. So, nice smell. Not, like I said, the eucalyptus is not overpowering. And this brush sitting on the nice warm water feels good. Especially with the temperature here in the middle of nowhere, Texas, being a balmy 37 degrees this morning. And make sure next two days you take a look at the channel. 
we're going to be doing a couple of really special things. Tomorrow, I, well, I'll tell you a little bit later. But let's see what happens here with this puppy. Hmm. This is going to be fun. There we go. Well, it's an interesting feel, to say the least. The soap is nice and slick. I'll tell you that. And get a lot of good feedback. Tell me, I'm kind of kind of enjoying this. Ow. Danger roll, Robinson. All right. That's the issues with these. They will, they will bite. And this did. I'm going to pause, take care of this, and I'll be right back. And we're back. Well, we stopped the bleeding a little bit. And I've decided to go back to a traditional looking type razor. Put it in the traditional mode. We'll experiment at another time. We need to use a little bit of the alum block and a little bit of new skin along with the stiff stick, the mix stick. The razor itself is not bad. It's kind of thin, probably because I think it's aluminum. She can hear, probably. Don't know if you can hear it. Very high pitch feedback on it. Give it a quick rinse. Not terrible. Well, the spots where I was successful with the experiment. side to side. Lather is really nice on this. You can be a little, a little careful. Or I 
call myself. In the shave it mode, <laughs> it does bite. And it doesn't give you a warning either. So not only I do that, a little, a little cream on this side too. See that? I didn't do side to side. I did down again with the grain. Oh well. <laughs> Once again, proves deconsuming. Let's go against here. So, as I said yesterday was rolling night. Yesterday was also the feast day of St. Francis de Sales. Some of you may be asking, why am I talking about that? Well, very simple. St. Francis de Sales is known as the patron saint of the common man and the patron saint of the deaf. And he was my spiritual guide, and still is my spiritual guide, all through formation. Brenda and I studied American Sign Language together. And that's how I got into St. Francis de Sales. Anyway. Not bad, not a bad, bad shape. You know, I'm gonna have those weepers and stuff. Mm. That's gonna be really interesting. That's just the shiggles. Do it against the grain. American Sign Language came in very handy when I was in New York at my first parish assignment. It was on Mother's Day that I was at Mass and I noticed out of the corner of my eye a young lady oh, try to bleed again that was signing to her mother. And I thought this would be a very good ministerial moment so I signed at the end the mass has ended Go in peace. And the look on this young lady's face was like, grin, ear to ear. And she elbows her mother and says, the priest is signing. The priest is signing. That young lady became one of my best 
Ulta servers after that. She and I could communicate on the Ulta and not say a word. If I needed the bells rung, if I needed water, if I needed wine, that was it. And that's all we had to do. And most of my other Ulta servers picked up a little bit on it. And it was good. It came in handy. Get a little water out. Get cold water in. Get the old, the new aloe stick from Razor Rock. Let's. Not really as bad as I thought it was going to be with this thing. Try a little bit. Get rid of the extra cream on the sides. Do the back milk. Do a quick. Quick friend. Dry off. And yes, this panel may look familiar, but I have several of them, and this is a fresh one. And time for a little electric mayhem. Shake just in case. Nice, nice scent. Okay, so that's our Italian shave for today. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to finally, finally open up that Rockwell 6C that I've got. I'm going to use that. Probably going to have it on a very light light base and then Friday is going to be OG shave old generation old school shave and it's going to be with a 1949 Schick Route 66 it's gonna be interesting so if shaving is not one of the most invigorating parts of your day you might be doing something wrong and as always be good to yourselves and to each other. We'll see you tomorrow. Ciao.